Loan payments are set to resume. It could pose as a challenge for a lot of folks who adapted to not making the payments. But that may not be the only challenge. Elise Corville is here to explain. Elise. With those payments set to begin again in September, scammers are also looking for a way to get paid. So borrowers may have to put up even more defenses and be skeptical of every solicitation. It hasn't been the greatest start to the summer for student loan borrowers as they now have to navigate starting those payments up again in the fall. One in eight Americans will have to restart payments as soon as September. Students that owe, owe these loans are going to be immediate targets. And so that's why we want people to understand that they have to be their first line of defense. The Better Business Bureau says they are expecting a spike in student loan repayment inquiries, scam reports, and predatory lending. The biggest scam that's going to be uh, involved in these uh, are stealing identity, stealing money. That's what people need to understand. You may have already received one of these calls. I've been trying to reach you for a couple of days now with no luck, but I wanted to make sure that we're walking you through your forgiveness options on your student loans. Whether you have a student loan or not. You just have to get your loans pulled up so that we can find out what's going to work best for you. And that should only take a few minutes. I don't even know if I'm going to be missing a call from the loan company because we get so many scam calls and scam emails. So... I'm really not even sure how I'm going to be able to differentiate the two of them. For this anonymous viewer, she says she receives calls and even emails daily about student loan forgiveness. As a first responder on a tight budget, she wonders if she's the next victim. People that are trying to come after you and trying to, you know, sell you a dream with these scams that they're going to help you and give you loan forgiveness. It's uh, it's tiring, it's sickening, and um, it's already bad enough. <laughs> I don't know why people are trying to make it worse. During this time, the BBB recommends taking the time to understand the details of your loan. Be wary of unsolicited calls and or emails. Watch out for fake government programs and agencies and contact an agency directly if you have any questions. Do not give personal financial information. Don't give out your loan information. Um, don't provide them with the tools to take advantage of you. And the Federal Trade Commission wants to know if you get any suspicious calls or emails that isn't from a verified loan agency. We have a link over on our Nine News app where you can report 